Abby Jensen has been planning her sweet 16 since she was a little girl and keeps a list of wishes that she wants to come true. When her 16th birthday finally arrives, she adds her crush Logan as her 16th and final wish to the list throughout the day. Abby is consistently visited by a peculiar woman named Celeste, who first appears as an exterminator when the Jensen's house is swarmed by a wasp's nest that had been building up for 16 years. Celeste saves Abby's list, but the family is unable to return inside until the wasps are exterminated. Abby's best friend, Jay Kepler, arrives to drive her to school, whereas Celeste comes returns, dressed as a mailwoman, and gives Abby 16 candles and a matchbox. Abby lights the first candle and her first wish, meeting celebrity Joey Lockhart, is fulfilled. Realizing that the numbers of the candles correspond to the numbers of the wishes on her list, Abby lights the eighth candle, granting her wish for a car. When Celeste emerges from the car, Abby deducts that Celeste is a magical being. Abby unsuccessfully tries to fulfill her third wish. Celeste explains that there is a limit to how many wishes can be granted within an hour, and that at midnight, the wishes she made will become permanent. Throughout the day, Abby uses the candles to beat her rival Krista Cook, who has the same birthday as her, in a volleyball match, and becomes student body president. Jay agrees to take Abby shopping for a dress for her party. They are followed by Krista, who convinces the clerk to eject them. Abby uses the ninth candle to make a wish to be treated like an adult, creating consequences of adulthood that she did not previously consider. Abby is suddenly unable to attend high school, and none of her classmates remember her. Her parents buy her an apartment and leave her to live on her own. Abby unsuccessfully tries to alter and add to her wish list when she makes a wish for her parents. To understand her, it is granted, but her parents only understand her under the impression that she is an adult. Finding Jay at Krista's sweet 16, she manages to restore his memories of their friendship, but he remains unable to help her. After talking to Krista, Abby learns that the two are on good terms in adulthood, and that Jay wanted to be student body president. Abby returns to her apartment, where she meets Celeste and laments her selfishness. Celeste reveals that, because the photo of Jay was attached to the list using chewed gum, it technically does not count and can be changed. Abby swaps out the photo for one of her taken that morning, and wishes to return to that morning right before midnight strikes, with her life back to normal. Abby throws away her wish list and gives her money to her brother Mike for a guitar. Abby realizes that Krista dislikes her because she took Jay away from her as a friend. The two reconcile and work together to make Jay student body president. Fulfilling his dream. At Abby and Krista's joint birthday party. Krista and Logan become a couple. As do Jay and Abby. As all four dance in celebration, Celeste turns into a fairy and flies away.